Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries present Truth for Growth a daily devotional program. God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth. Now, Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God. Shalom. Greetings to you in the unchanging name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To one who has faith, no explanation is necessary. But to one who has no faith, no explanation is possible. Faith is deliberate confidence in the very character of God whose ways you and I may not understand at times. Faith in God gives you an inner strength and a sense of balance and right perspective in life. Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. We are people who pin our faith in the unfailing God. Apostle John says in his epistle that faith is the victory that overcomes the world. For our today's morning devotion, let's turn our Bibles to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 29. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians are saying to do were drowned. The path opened for those who have faith cannot be used by those who have unbelief. By faith, the Israelites passed through the Red Sea as by dry land. However, the same path brought only destruction to the Egyptians who tried to use it. This shows that the Israelites had faith and hence they passed through the Red Sea. The simple truth is, if you have unassailable faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, no obstacle can stand before you as a barrier. Of course, it is the Almighty God who opened the way for His people. But it was their faith in their unfailing God made them to walk through the Red Sea on the dry ground. As they walked in the sea, the farther they walked, the deeper the ground might have appeared. Also the water which stood up as a huge wall without any literal barrier must have appeared through Triton to come back any moment. And perhaps while walking, they also saw various monstrous sea creatures through turning to attack them. Those who did not have faith would have felt like retreating and going back to their starting point. But those who had faith marched forward toward the promised land. Their faith took them forward. Dear friend, even in the beginning of this new year, your faith in God will cause you to march forward victoriously. When Pharaoh tried to follow the Israelites into the Red Sea, his army saw the water receding and making the ground very wet and making the chariots get stuck in the mire. However, the Israelites had faith in the promise of God. What does the Bible say in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2? When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. The dry ground is only for those who walk by faith. The natural law became a supernatural one only to those who believe the one who is supernatural. Before the unbelievers, the waters of the Red Sea easily came back following the natural law. But to those who had faith, the natural law lost its power. Dear child of God, the Lord is waiting to change the natural law for you if you walk by faith. The Almighty God is waiting to manifest His supernatural power on behalf of those who exercise their unwavering faith in that God. In the Old Testament, the people of Israel walked through the Red Sea by their faith. But in the New Testament, 
the Lord Jesus Christ caused Peter to walk on the water by faith, whether walking through or walking on. It is God who causes us to pass through, but the Lord expects absolute faith in him, irrespective of the situations around us. Just as God changed the natural law of the sun and made it to stand still for a while, honoring Joshua's faith, God can honor your faith too and do the impossible for you. As Moses said to the people in Exodus chapter 14 and verse 13, And Moses said to the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians, whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. All that we need to do today is just stand still and see what the Lord can do for you. God bless you and God be with you. Amen.